Hello everyone, welcome back to another Life is Strange True Colors video. This theory is going to be a little bit different because this is something that I've noticed that people have been talking about and since Life is Strange 2 is like the closest game to where it could kind of explain the timeline of True Colors, that's why I basically wanted to talk about. So basically, we're going to be talking about Life is Strange True Colors timeline and kind of like why Life is Strange 2 sort of hints it from what I've noticed and there's been a lot of speculations, especially with Life is Strange 2, of course, because it's the newest entry. But as well with Life is Strange 1, because we know Steph is in True Colors, so we're gonna get started. So basically, the timeline. Obviously, we don't know when the frick the year takes place. It's been a little bit confusing because Life is Strange took place, I believe, like a couple years before the actual timeline of the actual year we live in. So, like for example, if we look up Life is Strange 2, it looks like the game takes place in 2016, while the original game, the first game, I think takes place in like 2013 or something like that. So, it's really interesting to see that the timeline is kind of close to like the actual timeline of us in real life. However, Life is Strange 2 played a little bit differently with its ending, so I'm going to talk to you guys there. Basically, Life is Strange 2, instead of showing like the aftermath of like what happens after the ending where you can get caught or like when you get in it does something extremely weird where it shows a massive time skip which is around 15 years into the future basically it's kind of weird i don't know if i like it that much but i want to talk about how this could possibly affect why the third game true colors is taking a new direction with not having a teenage protagonist but instead like an actual adult oh my gosh my chair is so loud but yeah Basically, Life is Strange 2 in the ending, this is not the exact year, it's like around the year because I know there's like different endings depending on like what you choose. It takes place around 2033, so that is, that's way different than 27, uh, 2017 or 2016, 2016, I don't know why I kept saying 2017. That is a massive difference because we're only in 2021 and this game takes place in 10 years into the future, which... I don't really like the idea that they did this because now it makes everything confusing but we'll just ignore that for now but my point is for this video is that basically this is the first Life of Strange game where we're going to be playing as an adult adult because Alex seems to be older than just 18. Max Caulfield I believe was 18 but she was she was just she was just 18 it wasn't like she was still in high school I believe with uh, Blackwell Academy I'm pretty sure it's a high school right? So, I found just a little bit weird about the fact that this is clearly a different, I guess, approach with like what Donut did. So, obviously this could take place in between Life is Strange 2 and Life is Strange 3. I would assume that they want to make take place in between just so they can have references. So, it could be just possible that the game takes place in maybe 2018 or 2017, who knows? It probably isn't that crazy of a timeline. But with the, bit, with the massive time skip, it makes me want to wonder why they would do this, at least, because obviously Don't Know were the ones who made the game, it wasn't Deck 9 games, but Don't Know did something which really different, which is that they took place way into the future, so that's something that I find super interesting about Life is Strange 2, and how maybe this could take an advantage of the timeline where it takes place really futuristic, so that's something that I kind of find kind of cool but weird, I've noticed, so... As I mentioned earlier, the main protagonist usually is a teenager. The only exception where we never play as a teenager was probably Captain Spirit. I believe Captain Spirit was like 10 years old, but that doesn't really count. But, but my point is, is that they're taking a new approach with having an actual adult dynamic of wanting to play as an adult. And so I don't see why they can't make Alex like in the future because from what I've noticed, Steph looks definitely older in Life is Strange True Colors. She doesn't look super old, but she looks like she's in her mid-20s possibly, or early 20s even. In Life is Strange Before the Storm, we can assume that she was around maybe 16 years old. That's probably a bold guess. I don't know if that's correct or right or wrong. Before the Storm took place in 2013, I believe, or no, 2014. Oh wait, no, I'm getting myself confused. It took place in 20. 11 or 12 one of those years i think 
No, it was 2011, I think. It took place in 2011. <laughs> I'm getting myself confused here. But my point is, is that Seth clearly could be way older, and that's why Alex is possibly like way older. So my guess is that it possibly takes place around maybe 2024, if anything. That's really far into the future, and obviously in the trailer there weren't any hints to anything futuristic. I don't know if Deck 9 Games or not really want to do any of that stuff because I doubt in the future we're going to have futurist futuristic cars or anything. That's possibly why it takes place in a small town to avoid the timeline of it being in the future. And it probably wants to go with the style of classic. That's something that I would assume at least just because of the fact that that's the smart approach at least and so that's what I really want to find something interesting about what they're doing with this game with the timeline. I can't even talk today, but it's probably why it's not called Life is Strange 3, but instead True Colors, just because of the fact that they don't really want to confuse the timeline any further with the whole 3 be being continuation after 2. I know they could have still called it Life is Strange 3, but I think to avoid confusion, they clearly wanted to make their own spin-off game, even though it's technically like one of the mainline games. Either that or Deck Knight uh, don't not want to make the Life is Strange 3 game still, I would assume. I'm not sure. I don't know what Donut's doing. They're kind of weird at the moment, so. That's kind of like what I find a little bit sus about the timeline, so. I don't think it'll take you that far into the future, like 2023. Or not 2023, 2033. But I think it'll take place in around maybe in between 2017, in between 2033, so in between those years. So maybe we're currently in the year 2021. It could literally take place in 2020. So everything I mentioned could literally not happen. <laughs> But that's just something I found interesting about the timeline, and I hope you guys found it interesting as well. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Hopefully, we'll get more hints to like what stuff like maybe releases around the year Life is Strange True Colors takes place. That usually gives hints to like when the game takes place. So yeah, I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like, just subscribe. Really, really helps our channel a lot, and you guys have been supporting amount the ugh, the amount of Life is Strange content recently. So I just want to say a big, big thank you. And yeah, um, True Colors comes out in September. I'm pretty happy with that. That's pretty much it. I don't really have anything else to say. So yeah, like the video, subscribe if you enjoy the content, and I shall see you guys later for the next video. Goodbye.